Alzheimer's is a fatal and degenerative disease that destroys brain cells. It is not a normal part of aging. Today, there are more than 70,000 British Columbians living with the disease. No one is immune. Currently, there is no cure to this global health issue. That is why four non-profit organizations have come together to develop the British Columbia Alzheimer's Research Award Program to fund researchers working towards innovative treatments and solutions for Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. This $7.5 million program is a collaboration between Brain Canada, Michael Smith Foundation for Health Research, Genome British Columbia, and the Pacific Alzheimer Research Foundation. We are excited to introduce you to five highly regarded BC-based research teams who are breaking new ground on research and leading the fight against Alzheimer's disease. Hi, I'm Christian Naz, a faculty member and researcher at the University of British Columbia. My research deals with how cells talk to each other. They talk to each other primarily through membrane channels. In Alzheimer's, what we're trying to understand is how these particular channels, which normally would function by cells talking to one another, so coupling the cells together, how that benefits the protection of the neurons in the brain, and alternatively, these channels can also become dissociated from the cells and function more, we could picture them as, uh, as fists. And in that configuration, they're actually damaging to the environment that the neurons function in. And so we're trying to study the ways we can manipulate these channels in order to provide a, a neuroprotective effect for these uh, neurons. Currently, some of our colleagues that are part of this project have lead compounds that target these channels. And we've already shown in preliminary studies that this provides protection for neurons under conditions that would be similar to Alzheimer's disease. Studying these particular channels, we feel, will provide us with opportunities to better understand the course of the disease as well as look for new therapeutic approaches. Hi, I'm Dr. David Vocadlo, and I'm a professor at Simon Fraser University. So, with specific regard to Alzheimer's disease, what we're interested in are really the two key protein culprits that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. It turns out that these proteins tend to clump together and form these toxic species that spread throughout the brain. What we want to do is we want to try to, to block the toxicity of these proteins, and that would in turn then enable us to prevent uh, the progression of Alzheimer's disease. So currently for Alzheimer's disease, there are no approaches to actually alter the underlying progression of the disease. What we're doing is we're targeting a particular pathway within the brain that's involved in regulating the levels of specialized sugars. And by increasing the levels of these sugars on proteins within the brain, we hope to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease ultimately within patients. So at the end of this three-year project, what we hope to have accomplished is to have cleared a number of the barriers that will enable moving this therapeutic target toward the clinic. We hope to have identified excellent compounds that act in brain, in transgenic models of Alzheimer's disease, and biomarkers that will enable us to gauge efficacy within humans in those clinical trials. My name is Neil Cashman. I'm a neurologist and neuroscientist at UBC. Over the past 10 years, it's become increasingly clear that a little ball or a little clump of misfolded protein called A-beta, uh, that clump is responsible for the toxicity, for the cell death that occurs in Alzheimer's disease. A misfolded protein is one that is distorted from its native three-dimensional shape. When that happens, part of the protein becomes revealed 
on the surface, which was previously buried. We believe we found it. It's a little chain of three amino acids uh, exposed in a certain way that makes it accessible to antibody binding. With the generous support from the BC Alzheimer's Award, we hope to further prove principle with our approach in mouse models of Alzheimer's disease. Emergent Biosolutions in Winnipeg will be charged with making a human version of our mouse antibody that can be used in clinical trials of people suffering from early Alzheimer's disease. My name is Fassi Big and I'm a professor in the School of Engineering Science at Simon Fraser University. One of the key problems in Alzheimer's disease is that the diagnosis occurs quite late. The disease is at work almost 20 years before the cognitive symptoms of poor memory are beginning to show. The work I do would lead to a better diagnostic technology that will be able to find Alzheimer's much earlier than it's currently possible. So in this project, we would like to find whether the protein that is associated with Alzheimer's, called amyloid, uh, which occurs in the brain and makes neurons sick, whether that also occurs in the retina and makes retinal neurons sick. So there have been some initial reports that suggest that this is the case. So we would like to build a device that will scan the retina and try and detect the presence of this protein in the retina. If it is found, then that could be an early sign that the protein is also accumulating in the brain. But if this test is proven to be successful through our grant to our work in the next three years, it can lead to a very simple, non-invasive and cheap test that can be rolled out in clinics worldwide. My name is Jim Johnson and I'm a professor at the University of British Columbia. Basically, the question we're trying to answer in this research revolves around the role of insulin in the brain. So for many years, scientists have seen small amounts of insulin being produced in the brain. But the problem is nobody knows what that insulin is actually doing. Is it a growth factor? Does it help the neurons stay healthy? Does it help with our memory? Does it help prevent the disease pathology that is so severe in Alzheimer's? And another thing scientists had noticed in the past is that people who have Alzheimer's disease appear to have less insulin in the brain. This project, it really answers a very simple question. What does the insulin do in the brain? So we, for the first time, are actually deleting the insulin from the brain, leaving it totally normal in the rest of the body. You can imagine it as a set of scissors that can come and actually chop out the insulin gene. So we'll be comparing models that have the normal amount of insulin in the brain to models that have no insulin in the brain. As much as it seems like an obvious question and an obvious experiment, it's actually never been done before. So we're really excited to be the first group to try to do this. By 2040, 1.4 million Canadians will be affected by dementia. We hope that the discoveries made by these scientists funded through the BC Alzheimer's Research Award Program will contribute to the international effort to find a treatment or cure by 2025. The BC Alzheimer's Research Award Program is funded by Brain Canada, Michael Smith Foundation for Health Research, Genome British Columbia, and the Pacific Alzheimer Research Foundation.